My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Well, hello racing fans and welcome to our Gallup TV preview show for Monday. It is a holiday. We race in uh, Hollywood Bats, Scottsville, in St. Doozy, Peter Maris, but my hometown. What are you waiting for? Well, you're waiting for nine races at Hollywood Bats, Scottsville on this Monday. And uh, let's get straight into it. I trust that you, the valued racing fan as well. And if you did celebrate Father's Day on the Sunday, trust you had a good time and hopefully Monday could be a nice profitable day for you. So race number one will not be part of the exotics. There are nine races carded and race number one uh, is over 1200 meters. It's a maiden juvenile plate for fillies. Let's bring up the field and then we'll have a look at uh, the betting. Uh, the forecast betting, anti-post betting, as you've come to know, horses that are in single figures. And in race number one, well, horse number three is uh, Amanato at 33 to 20. Number four, take your time. That is trading at uh, eight to one. And then we go all the way down to number nine, Lock and Key. Now, Lock and Key opened up at nine to two. There is some support there. Hollywood bets into 33 to 10. And uh, the balance are all 10 to 1 and better the balance. I think uh, Pantas can get off to an absolute fly here. Uh, having watched this fully on debut, Amanato and what she showed at the Vale over 1,200 meters. It was a big field of 16 runners. And um, she was firm in the betting market at 5 to 1. Never moved from that opening price to the starting price. And she ran a good race, running a fourth behind uh, Bast in Glory. And uh, all she needs to do is just build and improve on that debut run against this type of field. There's lots of unknowns in the race. Uh, you know, the race runners are pretty limited, but uh, there are a lot of runners here that will be debuting. So I'll keep an eye on the market. The early betting support uh, for this horse, Lock and Key from the Glen Cotson Yard, has to be, you know, uh, take notice of. 9 to 2 into 33 to 10. See if there's a follow up come race day on number 9 lock and key with Richard Free up. And then Paul Mashard has Miss Monroe in the race. Yeah, she was well beaten behind Denton from Stanton uh, on debut. And I say well beaten uh, because uh, she did take on uh, a winners that day. And uh, we will see how she goes here, uh, this filly, number 10, uh, Miss Monroe, because on uh, uh, her improvement to come, I think that uh, she could also, you know, make her presence felt with those counting form lines, number 10, Miss Monroe. But uh, everything seems to point to uh, Sean Terry's runner here, uh, which is uh, going to be uh, the way that I'm suggesting that you, you get on in race number one. Um, restrictive odds at the time of recording, but I personally think that uh, with the improvement to come from number 10, Miss Monroe, she could be the exact play. And then off the balance of the runners, numbers 14 and 16 of the race runners make some appeal for trifecta and quartet money. But the suggestion in race number one is to get on. Get on on uh, Amanato from a very informed stable of Sean Terry. Well done to him over the weekend on Saturday, winning the two features at Hollywood Bets, Gravel and Craig Zaki, who partnered this fully on debut, would have had a really good feel for her. And uh, I think that uh, he's taken the ride again. And uh, Hollywood Bets, Scottsville should suit her nicely. And number two, Amanato. We're going to get things off to a flyer. Race number one. good fun days like these are, are great you get the whole industry together um, and to have you know companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into into making a day like this possible is uh, it's it's fantastic for everyone mm -hmm. 